Good morning, this is Pixie. How are you doing? I am doing great myself. Well, I say that, I've got a, I've had a stomach pain for the last um, two to three days. Now, it could be honey, but I've removed milk, and I think that's actually helped. There's too many dairies, I think it gives you too much inflammation in the body. So I haven't really, well, basically, I just, just bring it right down to that fasting and not, not eat much, to be honest. Um, I might try to do as a marker. I mean, you don't really want to push it too hard. But if you used, uh, for fasting, if you used a kind of, like, if you start feeling like a headache, then it's probably a good time to eat something. But not eat a lot. Like, you just have to, well, you can eat, eat what you like, really. But it's, um, sometimes you get the headache because you're exercising, in essence, a muscle you don't normally do in, in, in your body. It's that kind of, uh, stressor you've been, you've added and your body's reacting to it but when you when you do it more frequently your body becomes more accustomed to it you can overdo it and then you could actually get to the point of milk and you know, if you did so crazy you could kill yourself basically um there has been stuff with people that sportsmen have tried to lose weight and uh, put a cut for um, boxing and things like that and you know somebody did die because of uh, trying to trying to reduce all his water weight so you know you don't want to be insane obviously but um, sometimes when you, you what you've been trying to look for is indicators in your body so if you feel a lot of um, there's like a lot of blood supply in your stomach or that region of your body and you haven't eaten for a while then the body's going to start to uh, be taking in fats it's going to be breaking them down so I don't know I don't I'll just see what happens really so cut back on the honey I had a black coffee uh, this morning, a little bit of a stress, but I only just just have one black coffee, that's it, uh, avoid the milk, I, I mean I don't know what's going on internally, I don't think it's even too bad, I think it was, um, I think it might have been a bit of constipation as well, could be eating things like pizza, stuff that's doughy, stuff that can swell up in your stomach, it takes a while to get through, but it's just irritating, it feels like somebody's, you know, I don't know, stuck a, stuck a, some, a needle in me or something in my stomach. Um, so it could be just an injury there, so I just let it heal, and that's the best thing, because I think you can, um, you do, you can, I think you can, within 24 hours, you can rebuild the layers of, uh, at least one layer in your stomach lining. You just take time out, and all of your acids are not through the roof. If you've got an acid problem, then you probably want to put a mineral in there to, to sort of shut it down a bit. Um, you know, if, if, if you're not trying to, um, eat loads obviously you need to have what you consider a healthy diet and that's something for you to explore um, yourself um, and also had grapefruit um, juice uh, yesterday no you didn't, you didn't eat a lot not really and um, and one of my clients said oh you look you look good today you look good and I thought what he said yeah you must be doing something right so you know fair enough my skin probably looks better, so I think maybe milk, knock it on the head. Do you need milk in your diet, really? I mean, we do, it's added there into things, but milk's really designed to make um, carbs put on weight and stuff, so, or maybe the exception I'd look for is probably be goat's milk in the future, but I'd best to sort of, if you don't need something, don't take it so much, and you probably feel better. I'll be knackered, I'll be resting my body quite a bit. Anyway, that's, that's one thing, so that's just like health. Everyone's health goes up and down. So I've had to rest, I've had to try to realign my spine as well. Um, on crypto news, I mean, I could be set to make 20,000 on. Um, so there's a charger event on crypto.com, and this is just for my people that would just listen to this video, really. If you listen to it, good. If you don't, you don't. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, you put the money into the charger, it boosts it up, and then it figures out by staking it for 45 days, it figures out a percentage of um, a pool that's generated from mining, basically. So you end up with different um, cryptocurrencies and you'll get a percentage of it based on what you put in. And so at the moment, 
it's about two million these uh, pound, two million USD um, of these tokens, and um, the liquidity pool is about six million. Now I've calculated. No, it's about no, it's six hundred and ten million uh, something. It would probably go up further than that. I calculate the current amount of money. It would it would equal about six million something once because. Um, it's, it's, it's basically increased per hour um, per day up to the 45. So you got, you know, so I've got say, what should I have it? About 6,000 crow in there, um, which would be times 24 times 45. Um, so, so it's a lot of region of that. Uh, I can always increase that a little bit at payday uh, just to make sure I get that. I'm trying to get it to sort of at least 1%. And then you get one percent yield back, so they give you one percent of token. However, this is it's sort of like the first time that I've gone through this process. So I'm just at the they're calculating the reward for the engine coins because I put money in. I did put it all like six thousand tokens in. I got a bit kind of uh, FOMO'd in, so it was a fear of missing out there a little bit. Maybe not a fear, but I got caught up in the hype a little bit, so I started adding bits to it along the along the uh, process. However, it'd be nice to see what comes out of that. If it is a good way of creating income, I mean, there's a lot of people who want to be a millionaires, but actually just want to be wealthy and have um, assets you can tap into when you need them. Like, you need a new car, you need a house. I mean, it's all great if you want to go to the bank, but most people won't get, haven't got a great um, credit rating. The bank might be happy to get them into debt, but you're at the mercy of the bank. I mean, I was in a situation where I needed a new car, I wanted to get a car, a loan for a car. The bank didn't want to know. Thinking, well, how do I? And I said the purpose for work, they just didn't want to know. What a point. So uh, we got bailed out by a family, actually. So, anyway, that's just pretty good news. Um, and this morning, I, I, mean, I mentioned last time about Bigfoot, and I heard this noise went <coughs> like that. It sounded like the mixture between a, a, a train and a human. And I, said, I mean, that's what pretty much it sounded like. It was, it was pretty nuts, but that's. That's the noise I heard this morning. I was thinking, what the earth is that outside? And then I seem to know, think, well, you never know, it could be like all these big folk, because like, you get these things like yowies and you get these other things, but what on earth is it doing? So I might have to, I mean, at my, I just when I woke up, I tried to meditate on it, and I saw this being, and it had really strong hands. It wasn't necessarily tall, but it was, it was, a, it was like the bloody Hulk. It was built like that. And it had like a gorilla sort of face, facial expression with a flat nose. Because before I used to think, well, no, nah, that's just just what people fear impression of putting like a gorilla thing. I don't think. I mean, this thing might be, it might be in sort of a subspecies of it. I don't know what type of. Um, and also, we do get small ones. If there've been reports of them in the UK, um, they've been shorter. I did come across them in my book, and basically, someone was. I think it's up in Scotland, and they're in a they're in a park, and then they saw this. I remember she was on her own, or she was with her boyfriend, probably kissing on the park bench. But they looked over, saw on the bush, and they saw a face that was like ape-like, and that was a report in there. But they don't necessarily so tall for this country, and because they're probably interdimensional, inter interdimensional. I said something completely different there. Interdimental, uh, interdimensional. Um, they probably use things like trees to travel because of the carbon in there and there might be like a frequency but they, they've got some other abilities anyway so that's it's just like some bizarre just a bizarre noise i couldn't it, it wasn't an animal there was no birds there it was about six earlier than six in the morning it's probably about probably five um five thirty or something it was dark just getting light so it seemed bizarre so anyway this is pixie um signing off and have a great one bye